Previously, I made a decision to restart um, and use a new tutorial uh, from YouTube. Um, in this case, it was... Uh, ugh, crap, what was his name? Oh, crap. Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's really hard to... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm typing on two things at the same time. Okay, let's have a look here. Who was I using? Oh yeah, uh, Mr. Taft Creates. Uh, I'm using... Yeah. Focus, motherfucker. Fucking focus! Yeah. No? Yeah. Mr. Taft Creates. So I've been using, I've been following his one. Um, mainly because he was using a, a newer version of Unity than uh, the five or six year old one that I was previously using. Um, so even though it does feel like I've kind of taken like two steps back, actually, that's not, that's not overly that accurate because um, I did like seven videos previous seven or eight videos previously and um that was each session uh was like an, uh, about two hours worth of uh learning um so it's anywhere between 10 to 15 hours it took me to kind of get to this point uh before i restarted and used a different tutorial um and in this instance I'm, i've kind of like it's nearly it's nearly a third of that time um and i've you know I've, you know i have learned quite a bit from the previous videos as i said in in my last one um and i've you know i've read i've done a whole new instead of recycling the same camera uh camera controller from the previous project uh i i'm doing a new one and it has actually uh been quite insightful because now here like i this bit here, clamp, this is quite important. So I didn't have this in the previous one. So I, I, yeah, I have advanced a little bit. Um, so basically, where it sees here, the target position, the min position, and the max position here, and you've got the axes X and Y. So basically, um, this is the camera, and I don't want the camera to go out of bounds so that ends up, so you end up seeing like the void beyond. Um, the, the game area. So, okay, let, if I go to, well, <laughs> okay, if I zoom out. So here you go. So this is this is this is kind of cool. I didn't really sh show this previously. Um, Unity, even though you're making a two D game, it exists in like kind of a three dimensional plane anyway. So here you go. If I click on the camera, can you see the camera? No, you can't see the camera. Can you see the player? All the players there. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, basically the, the camera um, stops at these edges here now. So I didn't do this before on the previous project because I didn't actually know how to. Um, sorry, it's kind of cool, actually, isn't it? Uh, anyway, I'll come back. So here it is. Um, I'm... I, I, I don't know, I haven't really can't, can't come up with a name for this dude. Like in the previous project, I called him James because it was named after James. I'm not going to call him Taft. Um, I'm just going to call him Zelda because, as we all know, Zelda is the main character in the game Legend of Zelda. And he's, uh, he's always trying to, like, find uh, the princess. Um, I think she's just called Princess. I don't think she's actually called anything uh because you know it's an old game it, coming up with names was hard back in the 80s so uh you know so that that's that's now that, that's zelda mr zelda um now if i click on here and it does its little compiling so you know i've got oh god it just looks nicer doesn't it so i've actually got collisions here so um which is really cool. Now, one thing I noticed is uh, is that you know, uh, in my previous project I started, like he would not be 
he, he would like hit his head. He'd kind of stop about at that point there. He'd kind of hit there. Um, so the collision box, if I go to the player, if I have a look at his uh, collision. Let me exit out here. Box collider. So can you see that? He's like a little green, little green box around his legs. So that's actually the collision box. Uh, if I go here, I think we can actually show the collisions. If I can remember how to fucking do it. Um, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm, I'm, this, this, that's quite dull anyway. So basically, around all these areas here, uh, everything that I've placed in this world. Um, these like little chicken coops and the like the hedge perimeter here uh, he won't actually be able to walk past those and also the camera moves about so the camera follows him. so yeah there you go so yeah he can't he can't hit that so he gets stuck on here and there uh, so he can't hit that but it's you know um, and also if you notice here, look, he can't, even though he can move out of bounds, because there isn't a, uh, I haven't actually put a uh, collision box by any collisions there. Um, whoop, okay. Where's he going? Oh no, yeah, there he is. Ha, <laughs> he cheated. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit iffy. So I still got like, if you see that little bit there. Um, basically when it comes to, the camera um the, the these axes here this is basically telling the the cam it's basically telling the camera where to stop um and i used a guide uh, i i basically what i did is i actually dragged the camera around um and kind of did a bit of a guesstimate as to what where the axes would end so it's not 100 percent accurate but um it will be at some point. I believe it's when we're doing like kind of transitions from scene to scene. So eventually he will, you know, if I do that again. So eventually what I do, and it probably might be in the next part or two, um, Zelda is going to like, well, Mr. Zelda is going to like walk up to the door and then there's going to be like a kind of a, like in the previous project, there will actually be a entry point and exit point. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of screen tearing here. Oh, you might notice there's like these little lines that will get sorted at some point. I'm going to go to tiled and, uh, and, um, actually make redraw this and tiled. So you don't get all that jankiness. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I think the camera could do with being a little bit smoother. I'm going to, I might play around with the camera a little bit, but yeah, so that, yeah, there you can see that. There's a fucking, oh. There's a fucking line there. Um, so yeah, basically that's, you know, even though it does feel like a one step back, um, I've kind of moved forward and, 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 uh, um, you know, taken on board things I've learned and, um, yeah, that's what I've done so far.